In this video, we're going to be looking at factorising. So, for number one, 6x squared minus 2xy. 6x squared minus 2xy. Well, we have two terms, 6x squared and minus 2xy. And what you want to do is look for factors of both. So I can see that both of them have an x in common, for example. So that could be pulled outside the bracket. And 6 and 2, they both have a factor of 2. So 2 can also be pulled outside the bracket. So inside, I would have to have 3x to multiply with that 2x to make 6x squared. And the 2x would have to multiply with minus y to make minus 2xy. So completely factorised, the first one is 2x times 3x minus y. So... Let's have a look at the second one. 3x times 2x minus 1 take away 4 times 2x minus 1. So both terms, okay, both parts, have a common factor of the bracket 2x minus 1. And so I would be able to pull the whole of 2x minus 1 outside of a larger bracket. And inside the larger bracket, I'm going to have the 3x, because 2x minus 1 times 3x will give me that term, and minus 4, because 2x minus 1 times minus 4 will get me that term. So factorised, that is what I would have. Let's look at number 3. So number 3 is a bit more traditional. x squared minus 9x minus 10. So you're looking for two numbers that multiply together to make minus 10, but add together to make minus 9. So those two numbers would be minus 10 and plus 1, because minus 10 times 1 will get me um, the minus 10, and minus 10 plus 1 will get me the minus 9. So this quadratic factorises to x minus 10, x plus 1. Number 4 looks like it should be easier. It's of a slightly different form, and one that you just need to remember. It's the difference of two squares, because x squared is a square, and so is 9. And it's the difference because it's a subtraction. That's why it's called the difference of two squares. So what you're looking for is the square root of x squared, which is x, and the square root of 9, which is 3. So you have one bracket with plus 3 and one bracket with minus 3. Okay? And that would expand to give you x squared minus 9. The last one is this 5x squared plus 13x minus 6. So I'm going to give myself a little bit more space here. Raise those two. Okay. So the first thing to do with a quadratic like this um, isn't run for cover. You can, if you're asked to factorise them, they should be of numbers that will work, obviously. So the method to do this, if I just write down the question again, is to multiply the first term, the, the coefficient of the x squared, the 5, by the final term, the minus 6. So 5 times minus 6. And that gets me minus 30. So what I want is two numbers that multiply together to make minus 30, but add together to make positive 13. Okay, so that's my target number. Two numbers that multiply together to make minus 30, but add together to make plus 13. So the two numbers that will do that is 15 and minus 2. They multiply together to make minus 30, and they add together to make 13. And so, what I can do is split the 13x into two parts. So it will have a 15x 
and a minus 2x. That is still 13x. I've just written it as two terms rather than one. And I've still got that minus 6 on the end. So that's the hard part. Now, consider these two, um, the four terms in two sections. So look at the first two first. And what you want to do is just factorise those first two terms. So they both have a 5 in common, and they both have an x in common. What's in the bracket would be x plus 3. Now look at the second two terms. Minus 2x minus 6. They have a common factor of minus 2. So that's what I'm going to pull outside the bracket. Inside the bracket I would have x plus 3. Minus 2 times x makes the minus 2x. Minus 2 times 3 makes the minus 6. Now what you should find is that the two brackets that you have here should be exactly the same. If they're not, you've made a mistake. This now looks very similar to number 2. It's of the same format. So you can see that both of these terms have an x plus 3 in common. And so I need to multiply x plus 3 by the 5x and x plus 3 by the minus 2 to get the two terms. And so this is the factorised form of this quadratic here. Okay? So it's a little bit longer, the approach for number 5, but with a few goes and a few tries with practice, you can get good at it.